Welcome back to the video course on microelectronic circuits. In this lecture and following series of lectures, we will cover the topics MOSFET circuit at DC. Once we are familiar with the current voltage characteristics of MOSFETs, we consider MOSFET circuits under DC voltages and currents. In order to understand this topic very well, series of designs and analysis examples on MOSFET circuits at DC are presented. The following assumptions are made in order to keep the matter simple and focus attention on the essence of MOSFET circuit operation. Firstly, there is no channel length modulation effect, that is lambda is equal to zero. Next, the O drive voltage VOV equals gate source voltage minus the threshold voltage. Third assumption, for NMOS transistors, O drive voltage and threshold voltage are positive. Similarly, for PMOS transistor, the O drive voltage and threshold voltage are negative. The last assumption is, for the PMOS transistor, the source to gate voltage, to avoid negative sign, we normally include the modulus and write VGS, gate source voltage, which is equal to the threshold voltage plus the O drive voltage. Now let us consider the design example. In this example, the circuit need to be designed so that the drain current of the through the flowing through the MOSFET is given as 0 0.4 milliampere and drain voltage VD is given as 0 0.5 volts. The circuit is as shown here. So supply voltage is given as 2.5 volts and VSS is given as minus 2.5 volts. The RD and RS need to be estimated. So the data is summarized as follows. The NMOS transistor has threshold voltage as 0 0.7 volts. The process transconductance parameter mu n into COx is given as 100 microampere per volt square. The channel length of the transistor L is given as 1 micrometer. The channel width of the transistor is 32 micrometer. Neglecting the channel length modulation effect that is lambda is equal to 0. ID equals 0 0.4 milliampere, which is equivalent to 400 microampere. So, this is a design example where we need to find the drain resistance and source resistance. That meaning of uh, design is to calculate the values of RD and RS. In this first step, is, let us determine the regions of operation of the NMOS transistor. Since in the NMOS transistor, the gate voltage is 0 and drain voltage is 0 0.5 volts. So we can compute VGD. So VGD can be computed as follows. VGD is equal to VG minus VD. So where gate voltage is 0, drain voltage is 0.5 volts. So VGD we can estimate the value as minus 0 0.5 volt. But the threshold voltage of the transistor is given as 0 0.7 volt. Comparing the gate to drain voltage and the threshold voltage, we can easily find that gate to drain voltage which is minus 0.5 volt which is lesser than the threshold voltage of the MOSFET which is 0 0.7 volt. Therefore, we can arrive at conclusion the NMOS operates in saturation region. The condition for saturation region is VGD must be less than the threshold voltage. So, once we estimate the region of operation, we can use relevant uh, region equation, saturation region equation, then we can find water voltage, gate source voltage and source voltage. The drain current flowing through the saturation or saturated MOSFET is given as ID equals half mu n COx W by L times the water voltage. In this data given is ID is given, mu n COx is given, W by L is given, the unknown term is, unknown factor is O drive voltage. We can substitute ID as 400 microampere, mu n COx as 100, W by L as 32 by 1, O drive voltage can be estimated. So once we do the calculations, we found that O drive voltage is 0 0.5 volt. Now, once we know the water voltage, we can easily calculate the gate source voltage needed. 
the gate source voltage needed can be estimated through this equation. The overdrive voltage is equal to VGS minus VT. Overdrive voltage, which we already found, is 0.5 volts. Threshold voltage is 0.7 volts. So gate source voltage is 1.2 volts. So the gate source voltage, what we estimated, is 1.2. So once we know gate voltage, gate source voltage, we can estimate what is the source voltage. VGS is equal to VG minus VS. So VGS is 1.2 volt. VG gate, which is grounded, 0 volts. The source voltage is equivalent to minus 1.2 volt. So VGS is estimated. Source voltage is also estimated. Once we know the source voltage, and negative supply voltage is minus 2.5 volt which is given so we can easily estimate the value of rs step 3 is finding the values of rd and rs so the same portion of the circuit is uh, written here to find out the value of rd so the portion of circuit is as follows here vdd is 2.5 volts rd which we need to estimate current flowing through the rd is 0 0.4 milliampere or 400 microampere and VD which is 0 0.5 volts. If we apply the KVL through this path, we obtain the following equation minus VDD plus ID times RD, the drop across the resistor RD plus the drain voltage VD. If we simplify this, the RD equation is given by VDD minus VD divided by ID. Substituting the value of R VDD, VD and ID, we find that Rd is equal to 5 kilo ohm. Next, to find the value of Rs, the portion of the original circuit is written with Vss and as well as Vs. So again, if we apply KVL through the path shown, Vss plus Id Rs minus Vs equals to 0 is the equation that we obtain. Rearranging this, we obtain the equation for Rs as Vs minus Vss divided by Id. Substituting the value of Vs which we already estimated, Vss and as well as Id, we obtain the source resistance as 3.25 kilo. So in this problem, given the drain current, drain voltage, so we estimated region of operation and we designed the complete circuit, Rd which we found as 5 kilo and Rs which we estimated as 3.5 kilo. The final uh, circuit is uh, as shown here. So this is the final uh, designed circuit here. So region of operation is saturation. RS is 3.25 kilo. RD is 5 kilo. So to produce RD, uh, to produce a drain current as 0.4 milliampere and drain voltage as 0 0.5 volt, RD needed is 5 kilo. RS required is 3.25 kilo.